fast. This hero is so crazy. Sometimes the numbers just get tweaked around, like a hero's being used to being played in the mid, and then suddenly it swaps over. Well, not so suddenly in Pugna's case, but over a long period of time, it gets swapped over and then begins to Radiant's completely destroy. Um, while so much pressure has been put down bottom, they have left top alone for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he so did a gate them. charge through. Yeah. I'll be curious to see if they can make some plays with that a little bit later on. Oh, that's nice timing, too. Mopoja gets up here just in time to drop the sentry in the camp. He wasn't able to, to body block it at the same time, though, so they will know that it's blocked out. Uh, maybe Bovka will get a sentry sent up. For now, he doesn't have one, though. As in the mid lane, you can see things pretty even in terms of the CS, but Sumail a little bit behind on the old HP. Could be a Legion favored matchup. Yeah, I would imagine so. I mean, you still have to deal with Flame Guard as the levels go higher and higher. Um, but overall, Minot's going to be able to do some of that, I think, early. I think the absorb. rotations are also a bit more solid in terms of what T-Spear can bring to just, like, try and throw a little bit of damage in. Um, so far, that early sort of harassment has really been impacting Yadro. And in fact, Maposhka went in and is going to get brought down. Uh, yeah, it just did, didn't work at all. And Yadro only has four last hits. This is going terribly for them up here. Yeah, and the problem is that Laurel doesn't have his bottle yet. Oh, he actually just got the gold. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's still five gold away. So Speedbreaker can't even bring him his bottle. That's annoying. Because, I mean, that's the best thing with Spearbreaker, right? Is you can, like, bottle refill and then charge top, and it's, you don't even lose any time. Oh. Absolutely. Um, so far, off to a really good start for that anti-mage. Uh, 13 and 5 versus 7 and 1 on the morph lane. And, well, bottom lane, I mean, that's going pretty good for Collapse. He has that creep wave pushing. He's able to force back Monet a bit, but they have access to this pull. So after a double camp stack up, uh, by Pichu, they've been able to pull it in and get denied. three creep denies and even going to be able to deny out that range. That's a full wave denied from yeah. Collapse. And, and the fact that you have the uh, the lack of sticky napalm, right? Because he's 0-1-1, so it's not easy to clean up all those assets either. Pichu yeah. even snags a couple. Wow. And XSS just... I mean, he's, he's going to get into his Vanguard pretty soon. That's so crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, this AM is... Yeah, he's a monster. Uh, starts with the long stats. Laurel, it's enough. Takes down Sumail. Damn. Holy moly. Charge Sumail went for top. it all, dude. Yeah. This this is not... Uh, this is looking a little bit all over the place. Down bottom, battling it out for the Lotuses. They're losing one is Mira. Yeah, looks like Mira got the Lotus but died for it. Pure victory, it would seem. Denied. And a half minutes in, and you can see Aster with a slight lead. Um, it, with the exception of Sumail ended up dying there mid, but he's still doing fine, it feels like, even after that death. Yeah, and luckily the death of Mira means that Laurel gets a refill on the bottle, misses the overwhelming odds. That's huge for Sumail. Dyer's structures uh, are fortified. So he's not going to get a water rune, though, because Mira's got bought. And uh, Laurel does have top right now, so that will at least help Laurel out a little bit here and shouldn't be able to push the advantage too much further. Uh, Maposhka is still level 2, not quite 3 yet, and they just keep bullying Yadda whenever he leaves. He loses so much health. Denied. Go for me. Ah. He's not having a good time on this morph lane at all. He's and I mean, poor. That, and that's a double wave that's coming into the anti-mage right now, too. So he's going to lose this go whole Towards Yadda and hope that they catch them moving in towards... Uh, they're more playing, and they are correct here, but there's a lot of heroes coming here from Aster. They're going to get on XXF, so they have the damage. Trying to waveform through, and connect for the kill, and now Sumail, he shows up. Mira there, terrorize out to try and turn this fight. Bobica moves oh, oh, on in, the drops the Mystic Flare, run out and away. Maposhka very low. XXS thought about the Mana Void, but holds on to it. Still has a lot of people nearby. Just Blinks back, collapse, secures the kill onto Bobica. It was a five kill streak. Okay, collapse is really tanky right now. It's been six minutes since I declared he can't do anything for the next 11 to 15. So far, so good. He has not had to do anything. They Radiant intended to gank him collapse. once, and he finds Bobica. Chance and a kill. They take him. 
I, I, the thing pretty I, good job of it, but you know, losing that morphling, those types of pickoffs, sitting on wards, that's what's gonna win Aster the game if they can do it. Is under attack. They're just steamrolling bottom right now with the help of the Pugna. This yeah. jumps on Yadro, but then Yadro top copies top. into him. Okay. He was eyeing up the Basher for a little bit on XXS, but now he's thinking about the Scotty. We'll see where he winds up. Itemization, I think, is pretty difficult. I think it's a... Uh, he didn't accelerate quite fast enough, I think, for the Manta Diffusal to be really strong. So Wrap I... I around. <laughs> Laurel they get the jumps into now. all of them. Gets the Pugna kill immediately. Blade Mail after. Runs forward. Phobica already gone. Now the root connection onto the AM. They got him under control. XXS in trouble. Sumail but too? manages to get the blink out. Does still get chased by Collapse. Sumail trying to get out of there. XXS almost dying. The chase is still Damn. there. And I think this... They're playing this extremely well from Team Spirit. Getting pretty much everything that they need. Now, it's not a freebie by any stretch of the imagination, but they do switch into Monet and Yadaro back and forth playing Monkey King himself. Monet, well, his team died earlier. He's going to perish now. Aster, not all on the same page, and if they're not careful, they might lose a couple more here. Laps hunting, finding, XXS duel. Got him, very, very connected. And the lasso for the follow with the terrorize more than enough. Ichu also goes down. Yeah, Team Spirit are ripping him apart. Yeah, they've, they've lost control right now. Radiance top tower. He's about to lose the monkey king for him. Oh, stuck on the tree. Chase, chase, chase. Bulbuka dead again. Triple kill for Yadaro. Yeah, it's all coming. Aegis plus one more item and he's strong. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they do still have, like, Monkey AM Ember. That, that's a scary-ass lineup to go into late game against. But they need that time, and it doesn't feel like Team Spirit are going to give them that time. As they will find another kill. Although, maybe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Laurel goes down. XXS shows up in a big way to salvage some of that. They yeah, that don't have their mana void. But the jump in. XXS trying to find a target. Does he have enough to kill off nice. a or Yadaro? It doesn't yes. look like it. First crown on an illusion. XXS still waiting for his moment. Find it. Charge. Come on, A. Might have to be Gibby. Trouble. Right on top of him. Immediately, they just zip away. Poshka's still chasing. Oh. Mm. This is big, though. If Aster can make this connection happen, Monet Radiant just jumped on first. Doesn't have BKB, attack. doesn't have Wukongs, but he has a team. The team is there, but the Terrorize connects on to two. Now the follow-up. It's a DD on Yadaro. Wants to chase. Can he get anybody? Doesn't look like it yet. But now on top of Sumail, explodes to the DD Morphling. As it's going to wear out, the fight is going to end, and Spirit... Easy access for Roche if they want. They do jump forward from XXS, trying to find him, but uh, they're off the of Shivas. You can see the way that Spirit are playing and the way they're positioning themselves on the map right now. Breaking. Sumail gets broken right now from the Silver Age of Yadaro. Oh my goodness. Golly gee. God damn. Ready for another pickoff. Poor Monet. All right, Poor Monet. Broken. You got his BKB off. Uh, XXS. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. Don't wait. Nope. Don't zap, need zap, to wait zap, even zap. a little bit. Zap, 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 zap. Don't need to wait even a second. Uh, that is that is pretty rough. Holy moly. Well, they're, in, yep. they're in your base, sir. They're, they're all dying. Uh, everybody is falling apart. But Boba Cut, he's getting back from getting Slow that. this down with a couple sleight of fists. They're baiting out the anti-mage illusion. Adoro steps up. Realize, okay, that was not real. Monet up on the high ground. Lasso connection onto the illusion, so Lasso down. XXS jumps in, but the boundless strike connection at the same time. Laurel gets off the BKB, tries to run away. Controlling him, Oposhka, not the best target. Already dead is the Pugna a second time. That is the dieback. They take down Laurel, and they take down any more. Sumail, sleight of fist. He's the only one left alive. They buy back now on the Skyrath Mage, but GG is called Team Spirit. 41k gold lead in 40 Radiant's minutes. Buying Dagon's to boot. They're tired of you. <laughs> Spirit, <laughs> My God. Oh, man. There are a few things that's frustrating in this patch right now is... Uh, Counterfeiting, morphling, and then he just becomes the hero.